Welcome to my tutorial on how to ombre your hair. I haven't done it yet, this is the before. I'm gonna show you the whole process from start to finish. And so I just wanted to show you first some of my hair inspirations. These are from my Pinterest board. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, you should. Jessica Rumba at Pinterest. And you can follow my My Style board to see all of the styles that I like, the different hairstyles, clothing styles, jewelry styles, everything. This one in particular is what I'm going for today. So I'm gonna be using a brown temporary color to cover my roots. And then to lighten the ends to that super white blonde look, I'm gonna use some Kaleidacolor Violet Lightener with a 20 volume. So I'm gonna show you step by step how I do this. I've been dyeing my hair blonde now for almost 10 years and it's a lot of upkeep with the roots. I have to retouch the roots like once every month. So it really, it gets kind of annoying to be quite honest. So I wanna do something more natural that can grow out and not look so harsh when it does. So right now what you see is about one month worth of regrowth, maybe a little bit longer than a month, maybe five weeks or so, but it's growing out quite a bit and I've been just letting it grow and not retouching the roots for this purpose, so I could do this today. So the end result is gonna be sort of the opposite of what I have now. It'll be lighter underneath and darker on the top. So let's flip flop my hair color. Stay with me and I'll show you the end result. Your first step is gonna be to change your clothes. Get into something that you're not gonna mind if a little color gets on it, and I recommend a strapless sundress like this one that I usually wear to the beach. It's perfect because it's loose and I can easily take it off when it's time to rinse out my hair. Start with the dark color first. You're gonna open up your hair color. This Natural Instincts comes with four items inside the conditioner. Set that aside, then you have the color and the developer, and lastly, and importantly, the directions. If you haven't used this before, you should read the directions thoroughly, but I've used this plenty of times, so I know what to do. I'm gonna shake up my color and developer together and then apply it to the roots, and using a brush, I'm gonna blend it down. So I'm really aiming for that line where it turns from brown to blonde because that's what I'm trying to blend together. So making sure to get the color all over that transitional line. And then I kind of smooth it and blend it down into the blonde. So I start from the middle part and then I go all the way down to one side to the ear and then you go back to the middle, start again from the top. You wanna make sure that you're taking really thin, even sections so that you don't miss any chunks of hair. Take your time and be really careful. All right, here I am back and I have the whole section finished. I don't really do the underneath section because that part's brown anyway, so this is just basically from the ears to the top. Now I'm gonna separate it into two from the back and I'm taking both sides down and straightening them out, getting the tangles out so that I can color the ends. So I mix up my bleach here. This is with a 20 volume developer and you're gonna need some foils for this as well. I start from the back and I take a really small section, press it against the foil and then paint just the ends, like maybe the last six inches of the hair. And then of course you wanna blend this up towards the brown, make sure that there's no harsh line on this as well. Once you've got it all circled and covered in the bleach, you're gonna fold that foil into a small packet so it can process. Continue this on the remainder of your ends, just doing very small sections at a time. The smaller, the better the color will be. So I think I did about eight sections per side. Now this is a really important step. While your ends are processing, you wanna go back to the roots and make sure you rub in the line where it goes from brown to blonde. Just use your fingers and blend the color down into the dry part of the hair in small sections. Then you wanna check the ends to see if they're done processing. At this point, it's been about 10 minutes, so I check and see if they're as light as I want them. And if not, I'm just gonna wrap it back up and let it process a little bit longer. Since you only want that color on your roots for about 25 minutes, your ends may not be able to get light enough on the first time around, so I ended up washing everything out and then going back and doing the ends a second time. About 25 minutes later, they were perfect. Here is the finished look. So you can see that the roots are quite a bit darker and I really like the color that they came out to. They're really nicely blended in and that's just by using that sort of rubbing technique to rub the line out so it just fades from brown into blonde. And I think that works so well. I just, I can't believe how nice 
the fade is. And you can bring this down as far as you want, but I just wanted a little bit so that I would still be overall blonde, but sort of blending my natural back into it. Um, the ends turned out really great too. I love how bright and summery blonde they are. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to curl my hair the same way that I had it before I dyed it so that you could see sort of a before and after side by side look. And if you want to see how to get loose waves like this, I did a tutorial on that. You can click here to watch that video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye! Let's do my monthly favorite. I'm gonna start with my first favorite, which is a makeup brush. I just got this new Real Techniques brush.